Hey guys, for Shree Story here. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix your phone if you're not seeing iOS 16 update available for your device. So if you go into settings, general software update, you should see now if your phone is compatible iOS 16 where you have upgrade to iOS 16 available. So let's say you don't see this. Why would that be the case? Well, there's multiple reason why it is and we're going to go through the basic steps so you get iOS 16 on your device here. So first thing first is, is your phone compatible? So iOS 16, it's going to be compatible on iPhone 8 and above. So if you have a lower than that, it won't be compatible. And then on the iPhone SE 2020 edition and later. So if you have the first generation of SE, it will not be compatible. So you can look up the list here by going into iOS 16 compatible devices and it'll give you the rundown from the Apple's website here. You can just simply go down, take a look at iOS 16, what comes with it. And some of the features even on some devices will not be available, which you can read through it or check out other video on it. So basically if you have iPhone SE second generation or later, which again starts with the iPhone 8 and the 8 plus iPhone 10 lineup, 11, 12, 13, of course, and 14 as well, which as iOS 16 compatible. So this is the list of compatible devices. So take a look at that. The next thing you want to do if you're not seeing the update here is go ahead and do force restart of your phone. So on iPhone 8 and above you're going to do is press and release the volume up, volume down, and then press this big side button just like that. Wait till the comp screen goes completely black. You don't want to slide to power off. You just want to keep on holding the side button like we're doing right here wait till the screen goes completely black and you'll see the Apple logo reappear again and let go. So again, quickly volume up, volume down. You just want to press those in sequence and then hold that big side button until the screen goes completely black and Apple logo shows up. And that kind of reboots the software, resets any sort of bug or issue that may be causing iOS 16 not to show up. And now simply go into settings again and see if the update reloads. Now let's say you still don't see the update on your device. It's compatible device. What could be the other reason? So you'll notice here when you click on iOS 16, at least here, you notice it needs about somewhere between probably three to four gigs to be safe, like five gigs or so. So when you do want to download this, you need to make sure your phone actually has enough storage available. So what you do is go into settings, this time general, and then you're going to want to go ahead and check out iPhone storage. And right here up top, as you can see here, you want to make sure your phone has available storage. For example, this phone is a 64 gig. We use about 10 gigs, so we have, of course, more than 50 gig available. You want to make sure you have at least, like I said, at least 5 gigs or so. So this one, if it had, let's say, 60 gig or close to 64 gig, we probably want to clear up some space. And you can clear up space by simply deleting some stuff like your photos. Videos usually tend to take up a lot of space. So go into your photo album, check it out. Also here, it'll tell you which apps are taking how much you can delete some of the apps. Basically, you want to be make sure your phone does have space. Now, let's say you have space. What's the next thing you can check? The next thing you want to go ahead and check is make sure if you downloaded beta, beta profile. So if you did some beta testing on the earlier releases, go to uh, settings, general, and then you want to go check out VPN and device management. You should see any sort of beta profile, you want to go ahead and just delete those because beta will not allow you to download the official version of it. So you want to do that as well. While you're at it, the next thing you want to check is screen time restrictions. If you go into settings, screen time. So screen time restriction, if you have a setup or someone set this up, which again happens for devices that may be for a child or if you're using a company phone or something, they might have screen time or something enabled. You want to go ahead and make sure there's no restriction here. So you continue here. For example, we'll show you here, it might be not here, so we're going to make sure we, there's probably going to be a password, so you'll enter the password basically and make sure there is no restriction available, so disable temporarily to so you can go ahead and download it. The next thing you want to check if you see that there is no screen time restriction is the actual connection on your device to the internet. So cellular is good, but sometimes you need to make sure you're on wi good Wi-Fi. So you see the Wi-Fi here. You're going to go into settings as well, Wi-Fi, and then make sure you have a good connection here. Sometimes you want to go ahead and turn it off, give it some time, turn it back on, make sure it connects again to the Wi-Fi, make sure that Wi-Fi, again, is close to the router so that when you do go to general software or update, 
So software update, you want to make sure that that connection is good because that's how it's able to pull down the downloads and then you want to go over here and hopefully that resolves the issue. Now, if you're having issues with it, the next thing you can do is again, in the settings again, this time we're gonna to go to general, go all the way down here, where it says transfer, reset iPhone, you're gonna click on that, and then click on reset. Now, this is the top reset, not the bottom one, you don't wanna click that one, that'll delete everything. You want to click on this top reset, and you wanna click on network reset setting. What this will do before you do it is that it will reset all of your connectivity settings like Wi-Fi, pa say password, any VPN, anything that could potentially prevent you from downloading it related to the network. So before you do that, make sure you know that th what this will do. It will not delete any photos, videos, media, documents, apps, anything like that. Just the network related settings that you have, which again will help if your phone is having network connectivity issue where it can't connect to the internet. So you're gonna click on that and then click on reset. It will come up with the black screen loaded again. Usually takes about maybe like a minute or two, maybe a couple minutes, and then it will reset, and then you'll need to come back here and connect to the Wi-Fi one more time with the password, and then go ahead and check to see if you have the update again one more time. Now, if all of that didn't work, the next thing you wanna check out is the Apple system page status. So Apple publishes its system reports. So if you go to Apple, Google system status, which again, will take you to this page which tells you all the services the apples are running you want to make sure all of these are available especially when it comes to activation if these services are down for some reason sometimes their servers are down you'll have to wait till these come back online and generally they fix these services that could sometimes cause your device to not get the update for example mac os software update right if you're doing update on your macbook or anything if this is down it could potentially do uh, make those available updates not available, even iOS device activation. You want to make sure these are all available. And for the most part, they're always available. If not, Apple generally takes a few hours to resolve it. At, at the worst case, maybe 24 hours. But this is also important to note. Now, we'll then try back again later when those services are available. Lastly, if you just can't see the update here, the best way to go about doing it is connect to your phone through iTunes and then it will pick up a software update there, which is the other method to do if your update doesn't show up. And the computer will automatically download the update and tell you to go ahead and update the phone. So hopefully one of these problem um, troubleshooting help you guys fix your iOS 16 not showing up. If so, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know which one worked for you getting iOS 16 update. And make sure while you're at it, hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.